afternoon. I welcome you once again to Knowledge TV GH. Today we are going to look at reproduction. So when we say reproduction, we all know all over the world that living things have to reproduce. So what actually is reproduction? That's what we are going to look at. So when we say reproduction, it is the process by which living things give rise to new individuals of their own kind to replace them. So this is reproduction. So every living thing before, if that living thing is no more, there must be another living thing that will replace it and will perform the same function. So when living things reproduce, it means that they give rise or they produce new individuals. They produce new living things of their own kind that will replace them. So if reproduction has some importance. So one important is that it ensures continuity of living things. When they living things reproduce, forever and ever, they will continue to live. And number two, it ensures multiplication of living things. When living things reproduce, when the number initially is two, when they reproduce, they will, now it will be three. When that one also reproduces, now it will be four, which means that once they reproduce, the number multiplies. So reproduction has some importance. So one, one important is that it ensures continuity of living things. So when living things reproduce, they will continue to exist forever. They will never go extinct. Number two, when living things reproduce, it ensures multiplication of living things. They will continue to multiply, they will continue to come in abundance. Okay, so reproduction, we have types of reproduction. We have asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So today we will focus on asexual reproduction. So asexual reproduction, it is the production of new individuals from a single parent without fertilization of gametes. And the gamete here is the sex cell, the, the sperm cell from the male and the ovum from the female. So there are points to note under this. There are points we must take note of, and these are, one, it involves a single parent. Two, it does not involve fertilization. Three, it does not involve gametes. And we know the gamete is the sex cell. So we have types of asexual reproduction. So one is binary fission, two is correlation, but three is budding. Number four is fragmentation. And number five is vegetative propagation. And number six is parthenogenesis. So we are going to take all of them and look at them into detail. So binary fission, it is the asexual reproduction in a unicellular organism in which a parent cell grows into a certain size and divides mitotically into two identical daughter cells, which grows into new individuals. So there are examples of organisms which we produce by means of binary fishing. So some examples are amoeba, bacteria, chlamydomonas, spirogyra, etc. You can even have other organisms like euglena and so forth. Okay, so you have diagram of binary fishing. So as you said from the definition, it says the, the parent cell will grow into certain size and divide mitotically. That's mitotic reflection. So this is the parent cell. So as you can see from the diagram, it has grown into certain size. This is the first parent. This is the size. So here cell division is occurring. So it has grown to certain size and it's dividing mitotically. So finally, so we have the daughter cell. So you have two separate daughter cells. So these cells can also undergo fission when they are mature and grow into the, the certain size that is required, then they can also divide to produce new daughter cells. One other example of asexual reproduction is parthenogenesis. So in parthenogenesis, a female gamete develops into new individuals without being fertilized by the male gametes. So this, it's okay in both plants and animals. So in animals, 
Parthenogenesis occurs in honey bee. Honey bee does not involve the male gamete to undergo fertilization. And some species of cockroaches and certain lizards, they all undergo parthenogenesis. So in plants, pineapple undergo parthenogenesis in fertilization. And banana also do same. Both of them don't involve the male gamete to be fertilized. Parthenocarpy occurs in plants. So basically, parthenocarpy refers to the development of fruit from ovary without fertilization. So it is advantageous in a way that it does not need agent for fertilization. So you have sporulation as another type of asexual reproduction. So sporulation, it is the production, it is the reproduction by means of spores, which are one called asexual reproductive structures capable of developing into new haploid individual. So the spores are reproductive cells that develop into new individuals without fusion with another reproductive cells as in gametes. Examples of organisms that reproduce by sporulations, some of them are bacteria and fungi such as rhizopores and algae, and uh, some of them are seedless plants such as moss and ferns. So another type of asexual reproduction is fragmentation. So fragmentation, it is the breaking of an organism into two or more parts, each growing into new individuals. So when the organism grow, divide or break into pieces and each piece has developed or grow into new individuals, then we say a fragmentation has occurred. So the fragmentation occurs in some organisms, and some of these organisms are sparagera, planaria, and sponges. So let's take a look at fragmentation in spirogera. So on the, my board here, this is the original lens of spirogera. So after fragmentation, it has divided or break down into pieces. So each of these pieces will now grow into new individuals. So when this, when this one also grow into new individuals, at the point in time, they can also undergo fragmentation where you also divide or break into pieces and the process still continue. So thank you very much for watching the TVG8. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like and share. Thank you.